think I may have misunderstood Virginia. I thought there was a substantial black population south of D.C., um, being that it is in D.C. And I know that there are plenty of blacks in D.C. And, and Baltimore and the whole general area. But the map that I'm posting here um, suggests that one, this area right here, has actually um, relatively few blacks. Um, it's not there on this particular map, but if you open that link, um, it will come up, um, supposedly, that that area is one of the um, more white-dominated areas. Um, that's surprising to me. Um, I, I, I'm not an American, but I, I would have thought that area would have had a higher percentage of blacks in it. Um, and on top of that, um, it's, it's a primarily white area that Clinton happened to win. But it also suggests that the, that there's more black people around here, Norfolk and Virginia Beach, which I guess is a little bit further south. Um, I'm, I'm showing my ignorance here. I don't really know the, the, the population dynamics. I know the broad. You know, there's black people in the south and white people in the north and Latinos in, the, in, in New Spain. Um, but, uh, you know, like the, the exact details, I'm not... I'm a Canadian, you know, I... I know more about you than you know about me, but you know the, the details. Uh, I tend to tend to get a little lost in them sometimes. Um, so yeah, it suggests that there's a higher black population around here, um, and that Sanders actually won some of those counties. So my logic may have worked out in the end, despite misunderstanding the demographics of the state. Um, but but the bottom line is that it seems like Clinton won both white and black voters in Virginia. Um, if I'm right, though, that would suggest that Sanders should expect to do well in Maryland um, and Washington, D.C. as well. Um, 